How's it going, everybody? So today I'm going to put the SS80 next to the PF9SS and give you guys a comparison on the two. What's better, what's not better. So let's get started. Now, with the SS80, you can see this is the PF9SS, and this is the SS80 up here. Now, you can see the rail on the PF9SS is exposed and also sits closer to the front of the magwell, where on the SS80, the rail sits all the way to the back there's no rail exposed right here. It's covered in palm air, as you can see. See that? See how it's covered with palm air? Only thing that's exposed is the rail on top and a bit on the side and just slightly a bit underneath, but it's completely covered with palm air. See that? Let me try to get a better view of that. You see that? Do you see how it's all enclosed in palm air? There's no metal rail exposed. You see, all enclosed with palm air. Now with the PF9SS is a completely different story. You can already see all the wear marks I got going on. So now with the PF9SS, the rear rail sits closer to the magwell it's also got the rail exposed. See the rails exposed on the PF9SS and on the SS80. The rear rail is completely housed in palm air. Now here's another thing. That's very, very important. The Glock store took account to mock up to make it like the Glock's actual rear rails. See how this is the SS80 and this is the PF9SS. Now, as you can see with the SS80, they mimicked up what a Glock frame looks like which is very smart. And they put the rails all the way to the back. They have it covered with the palm air, which is also a plus. And then they also have the rear rail sitting behind the palm air. See that? See how the rail sits back? behind the palm air so the trigger is going to hit the palm air not the metal rail so that's another smart move on a glock store by mimicking up the rail system like an actual factory glock now for the pf9 ss from palm air 80 they completely did a horrible job they pretty much do like all their palm air 80s rails all the way in the front rail is completely exposed and like all their other palm air 80s the trigger bar hits the metal rail it's not protected you see how the metal rail is exposed further than the palm air so when you 
pretty much hitting metal to metal. On the Glock store frame, on the SS80, mm, that's never gonna happen. Cause look where your metal rail is. All the way back here, you got Palmer right here. You got Palmer all in here. There is no possible way that your trigger bar is ever going to hit this metal rail on the SS80. So from a design viewpoint, the Glock store killed it on the SS80 on the rear end of the lower. As for Palmer 80, not so much. So there's the comparison. The left is the SS80. The right is the PF9 SS. See how I said on the rails for the PF9 SS sits closer to the Magwell and on the SS80 sits all the way to the back like a true factory Glock. And then you can even see how the metal rail on the SS80 sits behind that palm mirror. And on the PF9 SS, you can see how the rail and metal completely passes. Not so good. Front locking blocks. Yeah so-and-so they just might have put in a better coating on the pf9 ss but i see that's going to wear out quite quickly here soon so that's where palmer 80 beats the glock stores ss80 because they did this where the glock store should have done the exact same thing also I see why people are getting cracked frames on the SS80 because as you can see with the PF9 SS, it's completely solid. Solid mold. So there's no possible way of it cracking right here like everybody has issues with the SS80. Now I'm going to tell you why you guys crack your frames on the SS80. Where's your protection at right here? There's nothing. That's all hollow. That's all hollow. So there's your weak point, SS80. And then another thing is on the Magwell. You can kind of see the difference between the two. The SS80 is nice and clean, factory style. The PF9 SS has got more of a like funky look to it so if you were to put the ghost plug in it it'll fit on the ss80 but on the pf9 ss it won't fit see the difference So um, there you have it, folks. Just wanted to kind of give you the ins and outs of the PF9 SS and the SS80 on the rear rail module. I love the SS80. I love it. They were so smart on this part, on the rear rails. Now as for this part, not so much. And also leaving that hollow in there, that wasn't too smart as well. But as in the rear design and the feel to it and the look to it is just so much better than the PF9 SS in my opinion. I just see this being an issue down the road. So there you have it folks. Here's my opinions on the two. If you got any questions, go ahead and leave it at the bottom below. If you haven't subscribed, make sure to subscribe and also give me a like.